You see the, you see the bald one right there? Look at that stupid look on his face. Get him! Get him! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 impractical jokers injuries you actually see in the show. Get the train! Get the train! Get the train! Go! Go! <laughs> For this list, we're looking at moments where the four Jokers hurt themselves during challenges, punishments, or special episodes. If you were cast on Impractical Jokers, which challenge would you absolutely refuse to do? Let us know in the comments! Number 10. Q's Broken Rib this season finale was arguably the most daring set of challenges the guys had ever endured. Impractical Jokers crossed over with Nitro Circus, an action sports collective that performs stunts and shows live and on TV. While training for a special live episode, Q was riding a quad down a hill when it flipped over and landed on top of him. And even if you're belly flopping, whoa, that's ah! just like that. You okay, bud? Broken. This resulted in broken rib bones and a nerve injury in his hip that never fully healed. I pulled all my fat. All my fat was pulled. Uh, I broke I broke two ribs. I got nerve damage in my leg. Of course, this meant he couldn't participate in the actual episode, and Joey Fatone took his place. I brought in the ringer, the man that I call when I need stuff done. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Fatone! Number 9. Genie Punishment Can you fly? Genie does as you wish. We bet that this punishment wouldn't be one of Joe's three wishes. During this challenge, the guys rigged him up to fly around the stage, having no control over his movements. Can I wish to marry the princess? Genie does as you wish. <laughs> Throughout the performance, Joe can only affirm to his co-star that he, the genie, will do anything he wishes. As he's soaring about in the air, he's knocked into the set and props around him. Everybody is gathered. Let the ceremony begin. Along the way, he receives various bumps and bruises. That includes being hit in the throat by a display of decorative rugs. Can I wish for unmatchable power? Genie does as you wish. <laughs> and crashing through a prop window. Ouch. Congratulations. <laughs> Number 8. Murr takes a tumble. On your marks. Get set. Oh no. The premiere episode of Season 5 pitted Murr and Sal against one another in a foot race, but with a twist. Because between the two Sal weighs more, Murr was given a suit to wear to balance out their respective weights. The race was neck and neck starting out, but once Sal starts to pull ahead, Murr slips and falls. On top of the scrape he got, this meant that he had to sit on the side of a helicopter for the next portion of the punishment. Who's the heaviest on the plane? They gotta jump out! Murr, you don't still have that, that, that weight on you, do you? No, I'm light as a feather! Become a Watch Mojo channel member and get exclusive perks like Mojo emojis, loyalty badges, priority comment replies, and exclusive members-only content, including live list rankings with the Mojo staff and peeks behind the scenes. Don't miss out! Number 7. Sheriff Q This town ain't big enough for these jokers. The guys traveled out to a western town replica in Nevada for this episode's punishment, where things got wilder than the Wild West. Q is tasked with protecting the town as its sheriff, but gets caught in a bruising bar fight. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass, partner. Oh yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't enough for the other guys. They then have Q participate in a showdown, but his gun is glued to the holster. Draw! The gun's stuck in the holster. <laughs> he gets hit in the chest, detonating explosive squibs all across his upper body. That has got to leave a mark. All right, put him out of his misery. Shoot him again. <laughs> Number 6. Breaking Tables this punishment is just as painful to watch as it must have been for Joe to do. I'm the manager. How's the bread? Is okay, it was probably more painful for Joe, but it still makes us flinch. He's instructed by the other guys to walk around a busy Times Square restaurant posing as a manager and must identify the tables that are faulty. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm a manager. Joe hurls himself with all of his might on table after table, some of which are completely sturdy. Not one of us, Joe! <laughs> After the fact, he said that this challenge had him limping for a while. <laughs> I'm a manager. Get them a cheesecake. Number 5. Cowboy Problems Yeehaw! Who's ready for a lasso lesson with everyone's favorite funny man, Joe Gatto? You want to sneak up on it. <laughs> 
sneak up on. When the Jokers head to Texas, they're challenged to instruct groups of visitors at a ranch in a variety of cowboy-esque activities. <laughs> Joe and Sal are paired up for this round, but they are awful teachers, just as you may have expected. But the situation goes from bad to worse when Joe snaps himself in the shoulder with his lasso. <laughs> you can see just how much pain he's in as it happens. Number four, Dizzy Waiter. Check, please. In this punishment, three of our jokers get to stand around and laugh as Sal tries to wait tables while wearing alcohol impairment glasses. Hey, sir, get you some more water. <laughs> he embarrasses himself time and time again. <laughs> sorry, 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 okay. sorry. They then have him spin around and around to make him dizzy, and that's when everything flies off the handle. Sal can barely stand up and crashes into the tables. The second time, he slams at full speed right into a wall. In this case, the physical pain must have hurt just as much as the humiliation. <laughs> Number three, goalies. The Jokers took their tricks overseas to London, England for this special installment of the show. In the episode, the big losers were Murr and Joe, after having lost their various British-themed challenges. So, Q and Sal had the two of them play as goalies for a professional soccer team as their punishment. This, of course, ends up with them being repeatedly pummeled, at close range to boot. To top it all off, all of the players pile on top of them, with Q and Sal joining in for good measure. <laughs> Number two, dry ice burns. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Seriously, no one should ever trust these guys around food, ever. Three raspberries? Okay. Oh, here it is. I see it. As far in as you can go. Murr is posing as a street cart vendor selling ice cream, and the other guys give him silly tasks to complete as his challenge. But they take things too far when they instruct him to dive head first into the freezer. You wanted the orange, you said? They even have Q close up the cart and wheel him away inside of it. We're just gonna close down for the day. <laughs> While it was hilarious to watch, the dry ice gave Murr second degree burns. Definitely don't try this one at home. Number one, Joe's head injury. Joe! right back to where we started, the ridiculously dangerous Nitro Circus Spectacular Live special. While Joe made it through the rehearsals unscathed, he had a pretty major hiccup during his run. <laughs> after having traversed through various sections of the course, he falls head first after launching himself towards one of the breakaway walls set up for him. Hi <laughs> Even though he managed to pick himself up, a potential head injury is no laughing matter. Luckily, Joe was ultimately safe and sound. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.